Welcome to your market updating charts of the day for today. It's Monday, the 8th of April. Hope you're all well. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. So, across the news, uh, US equity markets closed the week strongly on Friday to recover much of the losses from earlier in the week. The Dow snapped its four day losing streak. Of course, we have big data out this week. Even if the first couple of days are quiet, we've got the CPI number coming out of the US on Wednesday. And we've got the start of US earnings season due at the end of the week with some of the big banks reporting on Friday. And then, of course, it ramps up after that. So an important time for markets, really, in terms of are we going to see a further move to the upside or are valuations where they are justified? US futures are slightly higher in early Asian trading today, but not moving very much trading within a fairly tight range as it often does early monday us futures are pulling up european equity futures which are pointing to a mildly higher open and we are seeing asian markets start the week positively with the asx trading up somewhere between 0.2 and 0.25 percent with energy the underperforming sector us dollar index after dropping off earlier last week closing near neutral on friday but gold wasn't to be denied. It continued to move higher and is comfortably above 2300 and continues to see buying in Asia today. Uh, outside of that, copper hit 40 month highs and oil pulled back on Friday. Both of those are pretty neutral uh, in Asian trading this morning. Bitcoin is trading mid range uh, below 71,000. It is towards the top of that range after a slight gap up on the open today it doesn't look as though there's much momentum to push it back towards 71 but is looking interesting the next few days may give a clearer picture technically about what may happen to cryptos next swiss jobs and german trade balance and industrial production numbers are out this afternoon so that's going to affect both the swissy and the euro we suspect but it's going to be later in the week that we see the major action as we've already intimated with that CPI number on Wednesday, the highlight. Also got CPI numbers coming out of China and the ECB rate decision as well midweek. A couple of charts at Core RI today. Education company, uh, GH Education, ticker code GEM, is looking interesting. We're looking for a move over 120. And you can see we've got another strong day today, uh, which has taken us back over the weekly 200 MA. If we put this on a daily chart, you can see there, We've sort of struggled really to push up above this 125 to test that 128 with any rigor over the last three or four weeks. Uh, that high we hit at 128, which is technically important as we've seen, was back in February. So the fact that we've got significant buying coming in over the last couple of trading sessions looks important. So that level is worth keeping an eye on, not only today, but possibly over the next couple of days. On the FX front, we are going to keep an eye on the GB pound yen throughout the day. You can see we've started the day strongly. We're already over Friday's highs, but there does appear to be a block potentially at 192. Uh, so we may get stuck between 192 and 192.25. You can see the R2 pivot there. Uh, but if we do break 192.25, we think the upside is significant. Possibly again, one for this afternoon, subsequent to European market open. Uh, but there is a potential 50 pip move up to R3 at 192.87. Uh, if you put this on a four hourly chart, you'll see this in a little more detail on why this could be a very high probability move. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.